Hello friends, today we will be studying the histology of the respiratory system in which we will study one slide and that is of histology of trachea. Respiratory system, this is primarily meant for oxygenation of blood. It involves transport of gases to the lungs. Respiratory system consists of a conducting portion and a respiratory portion. Conducting portion transports air but does not participate in gaseous exchange. It is made up of nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea and the bronchial tree up to the level of the respiratory bronchiole. Respiratory portion is made up of respiratory bronchioles, alveolar ducts, alveolar sacs and alveoli and it is involved in gaseous exchange. Conditioning of air. During passage of air in the respiratory tract, air undergoes conditioning that involves warming, moistening and filtration. The respiratory tract shows goblet cells. These are unicellular mucus secreting glands. This mucus covers the inner aspect of the respiratory passages and traps the particulate matter. It also keeps the passage moist. Trachea. This is a cartilaginous tube that acts as air passage from larynx to lungs. The length being 10 cm, outer diameter of 2.5 cm and inner diameter between 1.5 to 2 cm. Trachea divides into primary bronchi right and left. The lumen of the trachea is non-collapsible. It remains open or patent because of presence of a C-shaped cartilage rings. We now go on to see histology of trachea. The wall of trachea shows four layers from within outwards. Mucosa, submucosa, cartilage muscular layer and adventitia. Mucosa. This is lined by pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium with goblet cells. Tracheal epithelium shows the following type of cells. Ciliated columnar cells, goblet cells, brush cells, small granule cells and basal. This here is a hand-drawn diagram of histology of trachea and what we see here is the mucosa, the submucosa, the cartilage muscular layer and the adventitia from within outwards. This is the luminal surface. The lining epithelium here is pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium with goblet cells. These here are the columnar cells the ciliated columnar cells and these are the cilia on the luminal surface. This here is a goblet cell showing the empty looking foamy cytoplasm and a basal nucleus. Let us see the different types of cells seen in the tracheal epithelium. Ciliated columnar cells extend through full thickness of the epithelium. Cilia appear as short hair-like projections on the luminal surface. Approximately 250 cilia per cell. Cilia propel mucus and the trapped particles towards the pharynx and thus they protect the lungs. Goblet cells occupy full thickness of the epithelium. They are simple columnar goblet shaped cells that secrete mucus. On HME staining, mucus is washed out and the cells show clear cytoplasm or foamy cytoplasm with basally placed nucleus. These cells do not have cilia. Brush cells. These are columnar cells with blunt microvilli. These cells form synapse with sensory nerve endings and function as receptor cells. 
small granule cells or Kulchitsky cells or K cells. These cells are visible when stained with silver stains. They function similar to enteroendocrine cells of gut and show granules, secretory vesicles containing catecholamines. Basal cells. These cells act as germinal cells for all other epithelial cells. Their nuclei form a row adjacent to the basal lamina. Next we see the basement membrane. Trachea shows a thick basement membrane that is seen as a glassy or homogeneous eosinophilic layer on HNE staining. This here we see the epithelial lining resting on a basement membrane or the basal lamina and as is seen here this is a thick basement membrane. We then see the lamina propria. This is made up of loose connective tissue, shows diffuse lymphatics and lymphatic follicles in the form of bronchus associated lymphatic tissue or bond. It also contains numerous elastic fibers. At the junction of lamina propria with submucosa, elastic fibers are more in number and form an elastic membrane. The same picture here showing us the lamina propria and we see here lymphatic aggregations, lymphatic follicles and lymphatics with numerous elastic fibers and we also see this elastic membrane which is formed at the junction of lamina propria with the submucosa. We then go on to study the submucosa. This contains mucus acinar with serous demilunes and ducts of these glands lined by cuboidal epithelium. It also contains lymphatic follicles, blood vessels and lymphatics. Mucus acinar are lined by simple cuboidal or low columnar epithelium. Mucus cells have flat elongated and basally placed nucleus with a foamy cytoplasm. This is because the mucus which is stored in the cells is washed away during tissue processing. Mucus acini have a wide well-defined lumen and they secrete thick mucoid secretions. Serous demilunes are a group of 3 to 4 serous cells that cap the mucus acini. Serous cells are pyramidal shaped columnar cells having a rounded basal nucleus. Large amount of rough endoplasmic reticulum gives basal basophilia and well-developed Golgi complex and secretory vesicles give apical eosinophilia to these cells. This we see here the submucosa showing mucus acini as well as mucus acini with serous demilunes. We also see the ducts of these glands lined by simple cuboidal epithelium along with blood vessels and few lymphatic aggregations. We then see the next layer which is the tracheal cartilage and trachealis muscle. Trachea contains 15 to 20 C-shaped hyaline cartilage rings. The gap of the C-shaped cartilage which is seen on the posterior aspect is bridged by fibroelastic tissue and trachealis muscle which is made up of smooth muscle fibers. Hyaline cartilage consists of chondrocytes lying in the lacunae. These are seen as groups of chondrocytes which are known as isogenic cell nests and these lie surrounded by homogeneous matrix and the outer perichondrium which is made up of two layers, outer fibrous and inner cellular layers. This year, we see the posterior end of the C-shaped cartilage ring and this is the cartilage tissue. It is hyaline cartilage showing cells or chondrocytes present as cell nests surrounded by lacunae and we also see the homogeneous glassy 
batteries. This here is the perichondrium showing outer fibrous and inner cellular layer. The fibroelastic tissue and the trachealis muscle which is made up of smooth muscle fibers. We next see the adventitia. This is the fibroelastic connective tissue layer that contains blood vessels and nerves. This is the outermost layer of the trachea. This we see here, the outermost layer, that's the adventitia, made up of fibroelastic tissue showing blood vessels, adipose cells, fibers and other nerve endings. What we see here is a low power field view of the slide of trachea. This is the luminal surface. We see here the lining epithelium of the mucosa, pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium with goblet cells, lamina propria, the submucosa with the mucus glands with serous debinutes and the hyaline cartilage. Another view of the same slide showing the lining epithelium, lamina propria, submucosa with the glands and the hyaline cartilage. Another view showing all the four layers, mucosa, submucosa, cartilage layer and the adventitia. Same slide showing us a lot, a little magnified view. We can appreciate the mucus asini here, the perichondrium, outer fibrous and inner cellular layer and the hyaline cartilage. A slightly magnified view to see the lining epithelium, pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium with Goblet cells. We also see an aperio image scope picture of the trachea. We see the lining epithelium, the lamina propria, the submucosa with the asana and the ducts the hyaline cartilage and the adventitia. A magnified view of the mucosa seen here shows us the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium with the goblet cells which are clearly seen here as goblet shaped cells having an empty cytoplasm. The salient features for spotting here would be presence of mucosa lined by pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium with goblet cells, presence of submucosa containing serous and mucus glands, and presence of C-shaped hyaline cartilage rings. Thus, we have studied an important slide of histology of trachea in this video. For further reference, you can read Sontakya Yogesh, Textbook of Human Histology, CBS Publishers and Distributors, Private Limited, New Delhi, 2020, page numbers 167 to 182. Thank you.